we made it. Now, I was on that field just through the gap the other day. Today, we've come onto this field. Now, we're not gonna go at the very bottom there. Uh, we're gonna stay at the very top here. Right down the bottom, there used to be an old footpath that used to run right up all the way to the gap that's just there. So we're gonna stick around this top bit. We're gonna have a little look. Been here a couple of minutes and we're on to our first target already. 56, 57. Nice strong signal there. We're running it in multi-frequency mode. We're gonna change it, no doubt, through, through the afternoon as we get on. Right, let's dig that out and we'll see what it is and I'll catch you in a minute. First target, as you see there, was bouncing about a little bit, just a little bit of lead. Right, let's carry on though, see what we can't find. Right, we're onto a really nice signal here. We haven't really moved too far. We've had a few little bits of uh, junk. Absolutely lovely signal. Right, let's see what that is. Right, and that's what it was, another lump of lead. Really deep though. I'm not sure, but I think that might have been on an old barn or something, the way the old leads got all those uh, nail marks in. So what we could do is we're just going to stick around this bit. We've had a few little bits of turt. Otherwise, not bad so far. A few bits of lead for the melting pot. All right, let's carry on. Making our way up to that bit there. Got a really nice signal here. 83, 84. Absolutely lovely tone, but that's going to be just there in front of the coil. All right, let's see what it is. We're going to cut the buttons out now. Don't think there's any, well, uh, I thought it might have been a button, just a washer. All right, let's move on. Really move far from the uh, where we had the last target. And we have a tiny little bit of a pocket watch. It's the outside bit there. And you've got the little link. I've had a few of these. I've had a few whole ones as well off of here. Absolutely lovely day. But as I say, we're heading towards the trees. I'm just going to have a little hunt around the back of the trees there. And as I say, back down towards this way. But last signal. Tiny bit of a pocket watch. I was screaming up in the 50s. 52, 53. Wasn't really that deep, probably about half a pinpointer. Check this out. Part of a, what I would say is a lead animal. Probably a horse or a cow. Or it could even be a pig. Elephant. Had a few of here before. Or it could even be an elephant. Who knows. I'll give it a little clean up. Throw a few stills up in the corner there. Otherwise, see what else I can't find. Not had much interest at the moment. Some bits of lead, well lots of bits of lead, should I say. 6263. Alright. Alright, that's what it was. Tiny little pewter spoon. Check that out. It's pretty cool that. Hey. I like finding little things like that. As you see there, it was reading up really high in the 60s there. And it wasn't really that deep at all. I think it was probably a couple of inches down if that. That's what it was. All right, I'll check this one out. At first, I thought it was part of a can. Look at that. Now, it's only a little bit of brass or copper because you can see it through there. So it's definitely not silver, but check out the patterns on that. Stunning little bit, that. Really, really light as well. But it's definitely got brass in there or, as I say, some sort of copper as a base metal. And it's probably just been dipped in... Um, Silver, that'd have been a nice little decoration, that. Right, as I say, me and my boy's gonna carry on walking up there towards the bush and uh, see what else we can't find on the way. But that was the last signal. Right, see you at the next. This one was quite high up. It was reading up in the 73, 74. Check this out. I think that's a hat badge, a military hat badge. Just all folds over. I'm gonna wait till I get back and then uh, I'll get one of my lads to uh, 
I'm bending it. it looks like a pin there as well. Oh, I hope it is. Oh. Right, I'm not going to try and open it up in case I snap it. Right, what we do is we give it a clean up, put a few stills up, but I think that's going to be a stunning little find. Right, let's carry on. See you the next. Right, we're on to our really nice signal here. 8384. Absolutely screaming signal. Alright, let's dig that out. Right, that's what that is. Just a massive belt buckle. Look at that. We've got absolutely loads of these belt buckles at home. Probably about 90, something like that. Easy. That's just another belt buckle. Wicked. Signs of that though. Alright, let's carry on. And I'll see you at the next. Right, this one. I'm reading up at a 75. Really, really high signal. Wasn't really that deep. And I can tell you exactly what that is. There's a little bit of metal on there and a wheel that runs through the middle. That's the part of a chair leg. First of all, it was a bell, but you can see the hole there. And there'd be another hole the other side. Metal bit would run through the middle and the, the wheel would move so you could have it underneath there. All right, let's carry on. See what else can't find. All right, we're just going to make our way up that way now. Got a really nice signal here though. 77, 78. Even though the ground's quite dry, the signal's been quite good. Alright, that's going to be right there at the front of the coil. Let's dig that out and see what it is, and I'll catch you in a minute. Best so far, but we're having a few little bits, and we just had a nice little bag seal. Hey, first ever bag seal I've had off this field. Looks like it's got a little lion on there. Yeah, we're going to give that a little clean up, see if there's anything on there. But that is absolutely stunning little finds, these are. All right, we're going to carry on walking up that way, see what else we can't find, and hopefully find a few more of these. All right, let's carry on. Got a really nice signal here. Getting a lot of little tiny little bits at the moment. Nice 63, 64. It's got a really nice tone to it though. All right, let's dig that out. Yeah, that one was screaming up in the 60s, 63, 64, jumped around a slight bit. I'm not sure what that is. It looks like a uh, old salt lid. Looks like it's got loads of holes in the top there. I'm not sure if it's silver or not. It's quite heavy. So I'm not sure. It could just be a lid off a bottle. But we'll give it a clean up if it's anything good. Let you guys know. Otherwise, let's carry on. It was uh, quite deep. 65, 66. Trying to get as many ID numbers in as I can. But at the moment, I'm just digging a lot of tut. Had a few nice little finds. Otherwise, just an old bell. Ding, ding. Let's carry on. Check this out. All right, I found one of the other, these the other day up here. And I've got another one. It is a Roman pencil. You see a little bit of iron running through the top there. Maybe be brass or copper, which would have run right through the middle of it. And then they would have etched letters. But that's what that is. Slowly making our way down, but we're getting a lot of signals, a, a lot of bits of tat. But as you know, you've got to dig them all. But that, as I say, is a Roman pencil. Wicked. Right, let's carry on. Check that out. Absolutely stunning little bit that is. I don't mind finding bullets. Quite a nice little find. Scream up really, really, really loud on the apex. I think it was about 73, 74. That field looks absolutely lovely. Got some absolutely lovely uh, metal detectorists over there. Uh, they've also got permission on here as well. Absolutely lovely fellas. I went over and met them. But that's what that find was. All right, let's carry on. And I will see you at the next. Let's this one up and check this one out. I'm not sure on this one, but I think, look at that. I think that could be like one of those pin brooch things. There's the uh, bit where the pin would run through. It's missing the back bit, but check that out. What an absolutely stunning little find. That's definitely, a, I think that could even be Roman. Look at that. Oh, that is a stunning little find. Well done. All right. We're cleaning it up, put a few stills up. We'll find out exactly what that is, but I do think that is one of those uh, pin, kind of pin brooch things. 
Oh, that is stunning. Might just be the back of one. Right, we put a few stills up after we've cleaned it and we're going to carry on. Just come across this one. It's got, got a little uh, grunty sound to it, 5455. I'm not too sure, it's jumping slightly. Could be a bit of deep iron. We're going to dig it out and find out what it, what it is. is. Giant great big doorknob. But check out the patterns on the back of that, that not doorknob. Some quite a lot vinyl wood stuff. It's definitely wood, it's just you can see the iron running through the middle of it there. I love that. It's quite a nice little find that. Alright, as I say, we're just moving our way on down there. We've been through this bit and then we've come back down to this field and we've got a doorknob. Wicked. Alright, let's carry on. Got for five. This was the last find we had. Just a big lump of lead. See where I've clipped it there with a spade. Right, over the last two days I've been using the uh, reaper coil. What do I think of the reaper coil? Now the reaper coil is absolutely brilliant, especially for big fields. You get more of a, a coverage. A little bit deeper on full sensitivity than the uh, double D Raider coil. I'm still slightly just trying to get used to, because I don't like using the pinpointer a lot on the machine, so I like to use the front of the coil. Still getting used to using the front of the bigger coil. Um, when you go over a target, I find that the um, when you're hitting the front of the coil, it's always sitting slightly back, so round about here. So I'm starting to dig slightly back from the edge of the coil. Otherwise, absolutely brilliant coil. And uh, yeah, as I say, we're going to stop and uh, we're going to make our way down there and see what else we can't find. All right, I'll see you then. One was quite deep. And uh, it was literally just jumping all over the place. At first, I thought it might have been a bit of iron because, I mean, it was really, really that deep. And check this out. Nice little hat badge. And I can tell you now, that looks like uh, it's going to be a really nice one. Still got the little pin marks there on the back. I'm going to give that a little clean up when I get home. And I've put a few stills up, but that is absolutely stunning. All right, let's carry on. And I'll see you at the next. Starting to get a little bit dark now. Well, it's not really getting dark, but time is getting on. Moo tube. But it's not been too bad. As I say, I've just been walking towards the trees over there and then back down this way. The boy's just sitting down, chilling out for a minute. And that's what that was. Moo tube. Oh, yes. Strange finding one of these in here. Check that out. What that is, is a weight. And in the middle of there, will be how much it weighs, but that is an actual weight. It's not coin weight, but that's a weight for weighing up uh, crops. There you go, look. It's got a G there, so it would have a number there. We'll give it a clean up so we can't get the number to come up. But that's exactly what that is. That's just like a weight for weighing up your uh, crops and things like that when it comes to selling them. But that's a wicked little find. All right, all right got really nice. 53, 54 solid. Could be a bit of lead. But you can see the stem's quite high, so the coil's just resting on it. Talking probably about half inch, probably a bit more than that. So, until we plows it this time next week, we're just gonna have to make do for now. There is small, there is shorter spots where the corn's a little bit shorter, but oh, as you can see there, since 50s. All right, let's dig that out. Now, know exactly what this is. This, is a writer's block. Now if you look on the end there, if I can zoom in, see that right in there? Typewriter's block. I've had quite a few of these in my time. You're never gonna get, I mean, some of them are whole that I've got and you can uh, make out what it says on there if you just stamp a little bit of ink on it and stamp it down. But I do like finding these. Stunning little bit that. But that's what it was. Right, let's carry on before it gets any darker. There's definitely been some sort of occupation on here. We had another, I had another little uh, drawer handle or door handle. Stunning little bit. Don't mind finding these. All right, probably one or two more holes left and that'll probably be it for the day. Then we can start making our way over there. Because it's starting to get quite dark now. But stunning little find. All right. Let's carry on. I know what this is? That is the whole back part 
of a, probably about early 1900s, late 1800s pocket watch. Tell by the three clip marks there. Wicked. All right, not long left now. Let's carry on. This is our last signal of the day, guys. It's starting to get a little bit darkish now. Can't really see it on the camera. I just had all this out of that one hole. I'm not sure if there's anything else in there. We'll double check, but I have no idea what that could have been. That little knobs on it. Some little knobs, or no idea what that could have been. Some little bits of turt. All right, guys. We're gonna make our way over there because that's where the entrance bit is, but still so much more to do on this field. Absolutely loads. So we're gonna come back up here in the next few days again because there is more stuff to be found. Okay, we've not had much stuff today. A few little military ba uh, hat badges, but I tell you what, they're always nice to find the old hat badges, but that's the last signal of the day. I'm Diggers Den Tyson Fury. This is the Field of Dreams and I will see you. Get out for a sunset. Look how pink it's gone. I mean, literally, the whole field's just gone pink. <laughs> I've never seen it like that before. But check that out. That is quite amazing, that. The actual field's just, the whole field's just turned pink. Look at that. Absolutely amazing. Lovely, lovely sunset. It's been quite warm down in Kent lately. The farmer's just been, uh, Plowing this field, I mean, cropping it, he's getting ready to plow it in the next few days. Absolutely stunning.